Welcome to another video from Play Simple Chords. In this video, I'm going to cover major scale diatonic chords. This uh, presentation is going to give some background that can be used to voice your chords. Um, as you know, the um, circle of fifths um, uses a distribution of the notes on the scale on a clock. If you go one direction, the notes move in fifths. You go another direction, the opposite direction, and the notes move in fourths. And what I'm going to be talking about is the notes moving in fourths, because that's what you hear most commonly in music. Now, if you take the major scale and you arrange it in such a manner, you can move around uh, in fourths with the exception of one movement, and I'll explain that in a minute. But you can start on the one, and then you can go to your seven, then you can go to your three, then your six, and then your two, and your five, and then your one. Now that's moving around uh, the scale in fourths as opposed to moving up in thirds, or scale-wise, scale I should say, moving up in scale from C to C. One exception is when you move from the fourth tone or to uh, the seventh tone, that's not a fourth. That's a tritone. Because if you move from F, the fourth would be B flat. Then you would go to E flat, A flat, D flat and so forth. So the C scale does not have a flat at seven in the scale, but that is used as a tone to change the scale from major to dominant. So the first move from C one to the four is a fourth, and then from four seven is a tritone and then after that all the other notes are, are uh, in fourths. B to E is a fourth, E to A is a fourth, A to D is a fourth, D to G is a fourth, and then you're back to C. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you uh, take those uh, notes and you arrange them around the circle like that and you do that for all the keys, You'll, you'll begin to hear the scale more musically. In one chord that's colored usually in this progression as you move around and forth is the three. It's actually changed to a, a dominant seven sharp nine sharp five as you move around the scale. And then you go to your three. I mean, excuse me, to your six. Two to your two. And then you five. And then back to your one. Now when you look at the scale, there's several different movements that can be made. Because we're moving around in, in uh, fourths, there's a progression that can go one, four, seven. And then, of course, back to home. That would make it a full sentence if you just stopped it and you went from one to the four and then went to the... It, it's waiting to go somewhere. So you go back to one. And that, that's using your notes and your chords in a sentence. Now, you can color all of this however you want to do it. You can make that a major. You can go to a minor. And then back to a D, to a diminish. But the idea is that the bass notes moving from a one, four, seven, back to one. The next series would be going from the four, seven, three. Again, 
one back to one. Then continuing on around the circle, you can go uh, seven, three, six, which is uh, very popular. But again, that's just based on the scale being arranged in the circle rather than playing the scale, uh, C major scale or any scale for that matter, uh, simply in scale form. So you, you, your seven would be, and in this case, you would use the altered three chord and then go to the six. It's just using scale tones. Now, if you didn't alter the three, you could still play it. Just using the seven, three, six in the scale, moving around in fourths. Then the next one would be a three, six, two. Uh, moving around in fourths around the scale. So you would take your three, six, and you've heard this progression a number of times and it's taken right from the diatonic scale. So the next one would be a six two five. So you play an A minor seven to a D to a, a G. Then you can do an alternate chord. Instead of doing an A, the A minor seven, and going to a to a two minor seven to a G, you can play the C, which is really the uh, a rootless A minor seven chord is what this is, because there's the A minor seven root uh, seventh, there's the the minor third, and there's the fifth. So you have that in the bass. You just left the root out to get a different sound. But these are all chords that are just right out of the out of the uh, out of the diatonic harmony within the scale. Okay, after 625, then you can play the 251. So we'd have F major 7 G7 and then one very common two five ones are they dominate the harmony in the in the popular song and popular music's music and it's especially jazz so again it's two in in its most basic form it's d minor g major or either G uh, dominant, however you want to play it. And then back to one. So this, there's no magic. These chords come right out of the keyboard harmony. So you can see that you can use the uh, chord progressions is based on the scale being uh, arranged in a circle. Two, one. last one is five one four now 
this is the 514 that's diatonic to the scale because there's also a 514 that sounds like this. And that's where you make the dominant chord minor. Everything else stays the same. The C is still major and the 4 is still major. But in this case, if we're staying diatonic to the scale, it sounds like this. And I know you can hear this. Jesus, sing. Jesus, sing. So that's all straight from using chord progressions in the scale not trying to come up with anything fancy at this point we're trying to get a basic foundation of how chords in a scale work and once you understand that then you can begin to add a different additional harmonies and go to the next level which is showing you how the modes relate to the scale and how you can pull chords out of this out of the modes such as using this is which is where the uh, the five one four where G is minor uh, comes out of a mode, and then the uh, the seven three six where you're using harmony that's not diatonic to the scale comes out of a mode, and that'll be covered in the uh, next video. Thank you for watching my tutorials. Simple chords are the building blocks for making advanced chords. And I hope you find that these tutorials are helpful to you on your musical journey. Please like, subscribe, and share these tutorials with others who have a desire to learn how to play music on the piano. I look forward to sharing other tutorials with you in future videos.